Hello, good afternoon. My name is Jar and I'll be your student nurse today. And today I'll be assessing the ears of my patient. She's a new patient here in our clinic and um, I will be uh, doing some interview with her first. Um, so I would um, introduce myself, verify the information, her name, your date of birth, and I'll provide some privacy for her. That way we could um, communicate better and um, everything remains confidential. So, hi ma'am, my name is Jara and I'll be your student nurse today. I'll just need to verify some information from you. Um, since it's your first time here in our clinic, uh, may I verify your full name and your last name? Jazzy Corzon. And your date of birth? February 2nd, 1982. Perfect, thank you so much. So, um, for this procedure, I will just be interviewing you some questions. That way, I could collect some data from you and um, after this, we will be um, assessing your ears okay okay all right so um, first question is do you have any recent changes in hearing no any discharge that you've noticed no any ear pain no all right any ringing or crackling in ears ringing of the ears sometimes okay it does it just do um, cups and go or um, it comes and go okay any past history of previous ear or hearing problems such as infection, trauma, or ear aches? No. Any surgeries? No. Any medication that you're taking before? No. You're not using hearing aids, right? No. Okay. All right. Um, for your family history, do you have any history of ear problems or hearing loss? Not that I know of. Okay, perfect. And... Um, do you live or work around a frequent or continuous loud noise? Not continuous, but sometimes. Okay. Um, do you use ear protection when there's a noise or while in your in the water when you're swimming? Yes. Has a hearing loss affected the ability to work or care for self or others? No. Right. Very good. Thank you so much. So that would be all for my interview with you. Um, I will just put in all my data and collect all this information here. Now I am going to proceed um, in performing the physical assessment of the ears. So first I would gather all my equipment in the room. I have my ruler, my tuning fork, my otoscope or pen light. I have a pair of gloves and I have my alcohol-based um, hand hygiene here for my hand hygiene um, technique. So first, I will be doing my hand hygiene technique. And um, you wanna verify and explain to the patient. You want to um, introduce yourself with the patient as well and um, explain to the patient what you're gonna be doing for this assessment. Um, hi ma'am, my name is Jara and I'll be your student nurse today. Um, since I've already verified your information earlier, I will just um, continue to provide some privacy in the room by closing the windows and the door and make sure that everything's confidential. So um, I will be assessing your ear since you have some um, problems um, earlier listed, um, like ringing on the ears. So I will be just checking on your ears. Is that okay? Okay. All right, thank you. So I will be... Um, doing my hand hygiene technique, putting on my gloves. Okay, so now I'm gonna be proceeding to um, inspecting her external auditory meatus and her um, oracle. So um, I'm gonna be palpating her outer external ear. Any signs of um, discomfort or pain? No. What about this? No. Okay, thank you. Her ears look some symmetrical with the body size and um, it doesn't look like there's any abnormalities in shape and color. It's good. Um, no signs of um, pain or discomfort for, from the patient. Um, on the tragus, the pina, the oracle, um, any discomfort here when I'm doing this? No. All right. What about here in the um, mastoid process? Do you have any discomfort when I'm doing this and I'm palpating? No. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, um, everything's looking good. No color um, um, abnormalities. Um, 
the walls are good the nodule there's no nodules um, um, present outside and um, this the next one I'm gonna be doing the um, otoscopic examination so I'm gonna um, turn on my otoscope and I will be um, pulling the ear back and up that way I could check on the internal um, um, auditory meatus, the tympanic membrane um, so everything is looking okay um, just um, um, some skin scoffing off her inner ear um, but no sign of infection or any um, abnormal abnormal discharge um, so uh, I just need you to do the Volsava maneuver um, which is you're gonna cover your nose by pinching your nose and um, before that you want to breathe in and then cover your nose and close your mouth and then slowly breathe out okay that way I could check on your tympanic membrane if there's any flutter or anything that's abnormal in there okay all right so go ahead and do that breathe in and close and then breathe out okay one more time inhale cover your nose and breathe out Tympanic membrane is good. There's no flutters, um, but you don't want to do this when you're doing it in an um, older patient or geriatric patient because they might lose um, equilibrium or they might have some dizziness after this procedure. Next is I'm going to be doing my whisper test. So um, I will have to um, cover one of her tragus. I'm gonna be putting my finger in her tragus and I will be standing about one or two feet away from the patient and I will be whispering um, a two syllable word to the patient and then I will have her repeat that word for me. So go ahead. All right, looks like she did not respond, it means she did not hear that um, there, there might be something going on on her left ear. So I'm going to proceed to the right ear. I'll put my finger on her tragus. I'll be um, standing about one to two feet away from her. And I will repeat that two syllable word. Apple. Apple. Okay, so her right, her right ear is normal because she was able to... Um, pronounce the word for me so next I'm going to be doing the um, the Weber's test so the Weber's test I'll be using the tuning fork so I'll be placing this um, I'll be striking this and then placing it on her um, on the center of her head or center of her forehead so um, just let me know if um, after this procedure just let me know if you hear the sound more on the one side or both sides okay Do you hear the the sound on both ears or just one ear? Both ears. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to be performing the Ryan's test for my patient. So for this procedure, um, I will be putting my tuning fork to the mastoid process. And after that, I will have the patient raise her hand if the um, sound goes away. And then I'll immediately put the tuning fork just by her ears beside it um, to... Um, to uh, measure the air conduction and I will let her raise her hand once the sound goes away as well. So for this um, procedure, um, I will be um, assessing the air conduction should be more than um, than the bone conduction when I'm using this um, tuning fork with her. So um, this is the um, Ryan's test, okay? All right, are you ready? I'm gonna be striking my tuning fork and I'll be putting it on the back of your ear and then raise your hands once the sound goes away and then I'll be transferring it over by your ear just beside it and then raise your hands once it's um, the sound is gone okay okay all right thank you thank you so much all right so all right, next I'm going to let the patient do the Romberg's test for me. So I'll have her stand up in front of me and then just um, feet a little bit apart. And then I want you to close your eyes um, for about 20 seconds and you want to observe the patient's um, 
uh, posture and if they're they have a good balance when they're standing up like this with their closed eyes okay all right 20 seconds have passed i don't see any um imbalances or any um, um swaying and um are you feeling any dizzy or something like that no so patient feels okay so she passed this romberg's test so okay have a seat and um based on the all the data that i've in i've collected um looks like that you have um for my nursing diagnosis um it looks like that you have an impaired hearing loss related to um extreme noisy environment um as evidenced by um um, not hearing on your left ear when I was doing my um, my Rhine's test or my test when I put my um, finger on your tragus, the whisper test. And um, based from this, I will be collaborating with the doctor. That way, we, if, um, if you need to be referred to a specialist, like the ear um, specialist, then we will let you know, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. So everything's doing um, okay with you, no dizziness, um, you're feeling okay. Um, so if there's any problems that you've experienced after this one, please give us a call, okay? okay. All right, now you're, gonna dis um, now you're ready to doff your gloves and then do your hand hygiene technique. And then you can dismiss the patient. All right, ma'am, thank you so much for your time. We'll just let you know if there's any abnormalities or you need some referral for the ear specialist, okay? Okay, thank, thank you so you. much for your time.